This plant is known as Crassula tetragona. I think it's also called pine tree cactus, and you could tell by just the shape and the canopy of this particular plant that it looks a little bit like a sparse pine tree. Now, if you look at them online, you could also see that some of them I have this kind of reminiscent look of bonsai, which I think is super cool, especially for a succulent. And these are actually native to the Cape Province area. Now, tetragona actually means four sides, so I think it might be referring to how the leaves actually grow or the fact that the leaves actually have four sides as well. Now, this one's growing in my southwest facing window, but as the spring and summer kind of happen, I pull it a little bit further away from my southwest facing window because I find that crassula in particular start to pucker and they get really dry. Um, so if you're not really on top of watering them in the southwest facing window, then you are going to get into some trouble because they do kind of get brittle, they get dry, they start getting brown leaves, like maybe some of these on the bottom. Um, and I actually just pulled a leaf off, which is good to show you because this is a way that they actually propagate. So if you shear the leaf off from the stem base, then it will propagate from there. And you could also cut it uh, on the stem and it'll also propagate from there as well. Uh, so this one I water relatively frequently. If I'm keeping it in my southwest facing window, I water it pretty, pretty much twice a week. But if I remove it away from my southwest facing window, like a foot or even two feet away, I'm pretty much watering it like once a week. As far as humidity concern is concerned, this guy doesn't need a tremendous amount of humidity. If you give it like moderate to high humidity, it may actually start to rot. And as far as fertilizing goes, on a monthly basis is going to be perfect for this plant. So a succulent fertilizer, maybe like a 247 or 277, a 101 or, or a 111 is going to be perfectly fine. Again, the fertilizing stuff is not necessarily always a science. And sometimes you could troubleshoot a particular plant by upping certain micronutrients and macronutrients for that particular plant. But in general, having a, a, um, a succulent fertilizer is going to be perfect for this. As far as pest pressures, I have had no pest pressures with this particular plant. I would imagine that mealybug could like to wine and dine on this, but I haven't had any of those experiences with mealybugs. So if you are into really cool and interesting plants and maybe wanna do a little bit more of a bonsai succulent, then you might wanna take a look at Crassula tetragona.